This is McGrath Fishing, and today we are chasing an apex predator. This fish is known to kill thousands of people per year across the ocean and even in fresh water. If we are not careful, this fish has the potential to pull us in or even death. It can weigh up to 700 pounds and measure up to 10 feet in length. With its razor sharp teeth, it is an infamous predator of the deep. Fish on. With a fish of this magnitude, the heaviest gear is required. Giant hooks, line the size of a rope, and sophisticated technology to give us the edge. It will take everything we have to outsmart and outstrength these beasts. I have drawn a picture of the fish that we are chasing. The king of the ocean, the baddest of the bad, the infamous bull shark. <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome back. West Palm Beach season four, if you watch the first episode, this will make a lot more sense. We have a pretty exciting day today. We're gonna start off going to get bait. We're actually gonna head to back to that fish market and they're gonna be hooking us up today. Uh, we're gonna fill the cooler and then right after that, we're gonna be meeting up with Rick from Real EC Charters and he's gonna be giving us all the fresh bait that they caught today, as in the carcasses. And then we're actually gonna be heading to a Goliath grouper spot to start off the first mission for groupers. So hopefully today's a success. Feeling good, Justin? We're feeling good about today too. The spot that we're going to for Goliaths today, we went to last year and we were able to get a pretty big one and we hooked a couple others that were massive that unfortunately got the best of us. But we're gonna be showing up with fresh bait, probably use the drone a little bit as well there. And I think it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna get some big fish. Jays? I think the biggest change for this time going to this Goliath grouper spot is actually having an abundance of fresh bait. As Tommy was saying, we're going to this fish market. Thanks to the owner for hooking us up and then Rick from Real EC Charters. But I think that's going to be a game changer for this location. Day two, West Palm Beach, the final season. Let's get it. Short, short. Florida, baby. That's what we wanted. What the? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> actual power. Group of okay. Seven to eight foot bull shark. Chuck, biggest ever from shore. It's only 8.15 in the morning. You have a f lizard in your hands. Save 15% or more in car insurance. I'm gonna put them on this leaf. Wait, get a cool video. All right guys, this place is absolutely unreal. They're giving us an entire halibut that was imported and flown in. Most of this stuff is actually local, but some of the stuff is obviously flown in because there's no halibut around here. But what a, what a spot to come to last night. Fresh bait and you, we know it's fresh too. It's not gonna be like some random shit that doesn't work, so. Bring it in the cooler, getting some fresh bait. Hey. I don't I don't think they're gonna wanna chop that thing up. So we just got the bait and honestly, I don't think we're even gonna need to go to the marina after this. They filled our entire cooler with the most primo bait, all fresh, cold, everything. So we're probably gonna end up going to the tackle shop now, getting the right gear for today and getting the right gear for tonight now. Cause like I said, we have an entire filled cooler, amazing people in there. Truly everyone's in there is, is great people. So to the tackle shop we go. I don't even think we need to go to the marina now and uh, go. All right guys, we made it to the spot. Um, it's actually right down here. Unfortunately, there is someone else here. So the first setup or the first drops won't probably be in the best locations, but we kind of got to do whatever we got to do. So there are some groupers here, some big ones at that. Hopefully we can get our baits in the right area and maybe that guy and his wife will leave sometime soon. We're not really sure, but we're gonna make the best of it. We drove an hour here. All we got to do is hope that we get one, maybe two bites. All right, so the uh, husband and wife, they just left. So we had the spot complete to ourselves, which honestly works out. 
So this is the setup today, 50 wide, 400 pound sinker right here, big hook. Hopefully we can hook up. All we need is a couple bites and we can make the day right here. So we actually found this spot late in the trip last year. Wasn't able to fish it that many times. We did get a nice grouper last year. We'll pop that up. Probably a good 200. Beautiful fish. These things are vicious and strong. We got them in. I got it. Come here. Casey. Gloves on, gloves on, Casey. gloves on. It's a shark. It's a shark. It's a shark. Yep. Ready? Give it to him. Real. Come ball. There. Just move over to the side. About to go in there. Pump, 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 pump. There we go. There we go. Oh! Hell! Oh, yeah, baby. Go. Bring it on, Woo! He's cutting water. How you feeling, Bob? Feeling pretty good. Yeah, he's fucking blowing. <laughs> 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 you ready, bud? Go, 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 go. Bump, bump. Where is that? Right down there. He's pulling, pulling, pulling heavy. Go. He's pulling. You got it? Yep. I'm holding buddy. Good? Good? You need to go back out right. Turn the f***ing rod this way! Watch your ankle. Well guys, to be quite honest with you, I'm surprised that didn't happen earlier because our rigs are not set for sharks. And there's what happens when you try to mess with a big bull with no wire. So honestly, I'm surprised it didn't happen earlier. Eventually with the teeth, skin, it's gonna just break it. So we weren't expecting a bull. We didn't hook one here last time. It's just the name of the game. Let's get another bait out. Hope for the target species because that's probably just going to happen again. I would 100% guess that was a Goliath. The Goliath. way I was just fighting, it was just digging, sitting there. Shark! Justin, camera! I got it. Wait, hold on, I got this thing, Jinx, I got this thing. All right, help, 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 help! Watch that reel too now that that thing's loose. 
chuck that those screws every once in a while. Justin, you want to reel up this other line? Yeah, what? Did you just said no? Oh, pump, pump. Is this gonna hit me right or not? Yep, no. I don't want to get like you guys. Yeah. Justin, I actually might have to tap out. This thing is huge. Did you see it? It's huge. I haven't seen it. Absolutely giant. Really? Yeah. Like I'd say at least seven. And like huge body. Tommy, real quick, when you pump down, just make sure those top screws are tight at least. Because if that reel comes off, there disaster. Just, there oh goes. my god. This is terrifying. I can't, I can't stop it. I can't stop, dude, it's way too big. It's seriously ginormous. Dude, look how far it is. It's okay, dude. We gotta just keep going. Hang on, my hip's gonna blow out. Let's take your time. You're on low gear? I don't know. No, push, high push, gear. Push that button. Let's take it nice and smooth, boys. Nice and smooth. Oh my god. He's pulling, he's pulling. Oh, my shoulder. I'll try and loosen it for no, you. No, you're fine, you're fine. We need to get you this fish. So I'm wanna... telling you, it's almost too big to land. There you go. Good grab. Let's just keep doing that. He's in the current like you guys do. It's like impossible to move him. No, 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 no. We're gaining on him, dude. We're gaining on him. Good, 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 good. Wait, he's going, he's going. No, no, no. It's like impossible, dude. I know, he's gotta breathe. It's dead weight. It's dead weight. Florida, baby. Woo! This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. And these weak arms are heavy. I'm going on the side of you. I'm on Casey's sweater already. I think he's losing a ton of energy. Yep. He's on rocks. Yep. He's rubbing out. You got a pump. I can't, dude. My forearms are down. It feels like I'm fucking Ron Jeremy in the 70s. This would be a lot easier if we could put this thing in the fucking hole. Go ahead. Yeah? Yep. Got me! Oh my god, I've never seen that rod bend that much. Now we got some fucking distance in this bitch. We just leveled the playing field. The bottom of the night. Keep the rod straight as best you can. I got it. Look how far he's out there. He is. He's coming in. He's tired out. Keep pumping time. Tom, as long as this line doesn't break from no wire, you got this thing. Getting closer in, it's just so hard to move in the current. We're exhausted. We gotta get him up before he gets that wall. Oh. He's not gonna go into the wall, he'll turn. Okay, we, it's almost here. Right here. Let's go, dude. Come on, buddy. Let's go, dude. Come on, buddy. We almost got this. Come on, it's right here. Come on, buddy. Come on. This will be my biggest pull ever from shore. Let's go, buddy. We're right here. This is the end game. Look at the line. Holy. No stopping, no stopping. We gotta go now. Lift out, lift out, lift what? out, lift out, lift out. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Real, 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 real. Touch leader is the catch. Touch leader. Look on the line, look out, look out. <laughs> Ow! I touched the leader the last I second. got good footage of it, pretty Tommy. sure. I touched the leader. I think I actually broke my knuckle though. Why haven't we put wire on yet? That was a big boy too. It's on video. All right guys, went in salt water. All you gotta do is touch the leader. We had it, it was right here. Honestly, it would've been an absolute shit show trying to get in the water with this thing anyways, and dangerous. So I mean, I couldn't really get many good, or I couldn't get picks with it and didn't get in the water with it, but I would 100% put that at a good catch. When did you guys? I'd say so. First shark with teeth landed of the trip. Like I said, could I have gotten in the water with it? Got a cool picture, thumbnail, of course, but 
We got the leader, that's all that matters. Completely won that fight. We went to absolute battle for probably 10 to 15 minutes with that thing. And we came out on top. So to do that without a wire, I say it's pretty impressive. That's one of my biggest bull sharks landed from shore ever. Not my biggest ever. My biggest ever is about like 400, 450 off the boat, what the charter captain said. But that was my biggest ever from shore and I feel absolutely great. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, but this is literally what we came down to do. This is a surreal moment, one of the coolest moments. Shout out to Casey for holding the rod, his shoulder's gonna be dead. Without, honestly, help, you can't do that. Like, you can't move the line unless someone's pulling that down. So, we honestly just had to, like, let it basically tire itself out in the current, because once it got out in that current, you truly could not move it. Like, there was no, hard to explain, I guess, unless you're fighting it, but I feel absolutely great. My first shark of West Palm Beach, season four, this is what we came down to do. Guys, that was absolute madness. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking, my adrenaline's pumping like crazy but we were able to get it, touch the leader. And, you know, in salt water, big fish like that, a leader touch is a, that's a catch fish. I mean, there's not much we can do with the space, given space that we have. But that being said, guys, Tommy just caught a monster. That's the first of many, Justin's nurse shark yesterday, his big bull right now. The sky's the limit, guys, and we're just getting started. Seven to eight foot bull shark, checked. Biggest ever from shore, let's go. Came here last year, we chummed the sharks in, a bunch of bulls came in, but it was kind of like a weird area. We've actually never caught a shark here, but hopefully if we chum enough bait like we have in the cooler, we should be able to get, at least get a few in because we are right here on the inlet. We'll see if we can get a bite and we'll go from there. Look at that shot. What is that? Lemon. Big lemon. Hit it, hard. Tommy, hold this flashlight, light him up. We got him. He's hooked up. He's, He's actually hooked up. I'm gonna go get your rod in. Hold this light. Oh, you're gonna have to walk all the way down. Do you need help? What the fuck? Woo! What did you do? Woo, baby! Tom, did you see that jump? All right, guys, so last year here, if you don't remember, I lost a couple because the hook didn't connect. This year, though, we got him. That's a star, baby. Oh, yeah. It's a big one, too. Okay, let's go. I think it's a big lemon. Let's go. But let him run, though. Let him tire it yep, out. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you good? Oh, snap it. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Fight, baby. Need help? Nah, we're good. I know you're, I know you're good. Yeah. But can I? Not with anything at the moment. Alright. Case. Right. Shoot it. Okay. We need that glove. Wanna grab that left hand glove in your backpack? It's, it's here, dude. Ready, bud? Ooh, it's a nice one. Oh, you're all good, dear. The bowl. Watch out! Watch your step! Watch your step! You are the walk his ass. Oh, he like seven feet. Oh my goodness! Holy shit! But, uh, look at this shit. We got, a, we got a whole shark on this mother. Hi right, guys, big bull. We got him landed pretty much. Check it out. I'm mocked. 
big lemon shark it looks like actually. A really big one. Justin, Justin. Right here, good picture. Nice catch, buddy. Big lemon shark, guys. You can tell it's a lemon shark because of the back fin here. It's longer. See how long that is with the dorsal? This is a really big lemon shark. I mean... It's about probably seven foot. Six and a half, seven foot lemon shark. Big lemon. Probably a good seven foot lemon shark. This is the tip of the tail and there's the head. Very big lemon shark. Look at that fish. Nice big old thing. <laughs> give her a kiss, give her a kiss. <laughs> there it goes, guys. Still at work, buddy. Go, guys. This is McGrath Fishing, and today we are chasing an apex predator. <laughs>